Actually, we are, we're gonna go Mustang shopping. So a, a lot on the agenda. Now, I know that you guys all saw the previous videos where we announced that, well, we got our order in for the Z06. We have our confirmed Raptor R allocation, which that's gonna be the trailering vehicle for all the race cars. So the uh, McLaren is gonna be trailered to the track with that. Also the Z06, which is gonna be interesting. I know that does a Ford and Chevy party. who kind of goes against each other, but I'm a car enthusiast. I love all cars, it's just my preference. You know, I want to change it up, get a Ford truck that has 700 horsepower. What's wrong with that? I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty excited. However, the TRX is really cool in its own right. So don't, don't take me as I'm not a TRX fan. It's just V8 in a Raptor again? It's finally time. It's finally time. It's happening. Anyways, um, let's pull over somewhere because a lot in the general I'll talk about. And I need to get your opinion on the pricing strategy from a Ford, I almost said Chevrolet, uh, with this new Mustang, um, the Ford Mustang Dark Horse. Let's pull over. And here we have the CA Corvette parked outside right in front of me. Um, really, really cool shot because the sun's going down. The yellow is starting to change colors, you can see here. But a lot to talk about today in this video because I'm with this new Mustang coming out. I think it's going to be a really, really cool car to get and add to the channel. Oh yeah, and by the way, I made sure to wear my special Shelby Super Snake shirt for this video. Because hey, being a, as much of a Mustang fan as I am, I cannot, I cannot wait. I really cannot wait for this new Mustang. I love all the tech that they have implemented into the interior of the vehicle. It's going to be a groundbreaking, I think, revolutionary. Um, Chassis-wise, I really don't know what it's going to be like because fundamentally it looks more like um, a... I don't want to say refresh because obviously they've done a lot more than that. It's a new car, but the fundamental uh, bones of the vehicle look very similar to that of the Mustang that was out for the past, what, eight years? It's been a while, right? It was unveiled back in 2014 or 2015. Well, the first model year of it was 2015, now just ended in 2023. So yeah, eight years it looks like. That's, it's been quite a while, hasn't it? Anyways, um, considering how Ford always makes their cars um, better and better, right? This is like the evolution of the S550 Mustang. I think it's gonna be the car to get, at least um, if you get the best version of it. And that is the topic of today's video. That is buying the new uh, Mustang Dark Horse model. It's be cool having a Mustang that's a special edition that's not a Mach 1, that's not a Boss, 329 or Boss 302 or a what's the other one I'm thinking am I missing one GT350 GT500 I'm probably missing one. Oh, bullet that's what it is this is a brand new nameplate so I'm excited to see um what's gonna be like having a new name on the block here's where it gets really interesting because when they were revealing the vehicle the Ford team didn't really dive too deep into what it has that's different than the standard new Mustang GT coming out um right away what we heard was that it has uh 500 horsepower versus 480 horsepower um that comes standard with the Mustang GT. Make sure to check out our last video because we reposted a full breakdown showing all the secrets and special features of this new Dark Horse Mustang and we went much deeper than I think Ford did with their official reveal sharing with all of you what makes it so unique. Now it's not just a standard Mustang GT. Um, in comparison it's got already 20 more, horse, 20 more horsepower but cooling wise you have new auxiliary coolers, a new lighter weight radiator up front with more powerful fans, uh, transmission oil coolers, rear axle coolers, the list keeps going on and on. Airflow, aero design, um, you have a bigger front splitter up front, a new design for the front um, bumper, a bigger, more aggressive rear fixed uh, wing in the back. Also, darkened out tailpipes, new badging. The entire car has just been, I'd say, taken a little bit further than what the standard Mustang GT is. And for uh, wheels, you can get extremely wide wheels, that being 19 by 10s up front, I think like 19 by 11s out back, with Trofeo R's, also carbon carbon fiber wheels. You guys all know how much I really do like carbon fiber, especially with carbon fiber wheels, because that lower rotating mass really helps for the deceleration, or I would just say the overall feel of your performance vehicle. It will give you a good effect of making the entire car feel lighter than it is. So if you want to uh, make the entire car respond better, give you better feedback, and handle the, um, the wheels when it comes to turning and feedback better, get lighter wheels. Power-wise, it's got more horsepower than this mid-engine Corvette right in front of us. Can you believe that? That is just so crazy thinking about it. This car, I mean, is such a 
beast. Apparently, from what we know, there's a lot of work that's been done to the suspension. So you have a more aggressive front and rear sway bars. A magnetic ride is a standard. It's the latest generation of magnetic ride. Uh, not, not just that. The front springs are stiffer. You have a new K brace. A significant amount of performance enhancements. I, I don't know how fast it's going to be. This leads to my big question. Is it worth the price tag? Now I've reached out to the dealership that I'd, um, I'll be ordering the vehicle from and it's going to be so exciting getting back into the Mustangs. You know, I cannot wait. I love Mustangs. I really do. It's been a while. I sold all the Mustangs that I had and uh, we, we really worked our way up through each and every single model. Uh, this one, the price from what I have heard so far, I, I'm not sure what to think about it yet. And that's why I'm making this video because it's very important. Let me get inside the car so I can break this down for you in, in a more serious tone. All right, here we go. The price for this all new Dark Horse, get ready for it, $60,000 for this new Performance Mustang. That's a lot of money. I mean, just initially hearing that, I'm pretty shocked about it. I did not think, I did not think they they charge sixty thousand dollars this isn't a you know a shelby gt350 or a shelby gt500 when the gt350 first came out with the first ever flat plane crank um 5.2 liter v8 and a mustang that raised past 8,000 rpm had magnetic ride independent rear suspension the best manual transmission money can buy um at least you know, for the price point, it actually started at less than $50,000. The Mustang Dark Horse costs $60,000. The MSRP to my GT350R was $67,000. My 350R with carbon fiber wheels, the MSRP on that car with the, with the flat plane crank engine again, was just $67,000. That means this is only $7,000 off. Is it going to perform like the 350R? Will it have as much performance in it? I want to find out. Does it have more performance in it than a GT350? It probably has more instantaneous lower end torque being um, cross plane crank versus a uh, flat plane crank. You don't need to rev it as high anymore. If it's $60,000 for the base price of the vehicle, how much is a well-equipped version going to be? Uh, it looks like carbon fiber wheels are an option again with the C8 Z06. They were about a ten to $11,000 upgrade. The Z06 has wider wheels all around, but this has got wider wheels up front in the Z06 and pretty wide wheels out back. I would expect it to cost pretty similarly in price that being add carbon fiber wheels as an option now you're looking at a seventy thousand dollar dark horse mustang gt version um actually let me retract that i keep saying mustang gt i'm only saying gt because i'm thinking about how it has the uh the five liter coyote in it um but no, no it's not a gt this is a dark horse edition so seventy thousand dollars with the carbon fiber wheels for the dark horse the handling package is another upgrade on top of that which gives you the trofeos the wider wheels which i think I think if you get carbon wheels, I'm not sure that plays along. It does give you a gurney flap out back and also a few other performance upgrades all throughout the vehicle. With the handling pack itself, that's gonna add even more money, most likely. So you're looking at probably low 70s, mid 70s, and then taxes with California, you're looking at 80 some thousand dollars out the door, which is the same price as my 2LT C8 Z51 Corvette was, that was red. That's not even touching base with any um, luxury amenities that are upgrades, because you know for a fact it'll have some form of upgrades that are available for maybe better seats, for the track seats, the Recaro seats, could that be an option? Uh, also, special interiors. The thing about it is, I, I wonder if this is going to be an $80,000 plus Mustang MSRP wise out the door because if it starts at $60,000 with carbon fiber wheels and other upgrades, it could be a 70 to 80 or if not 80 plus thousand dollar well equipped Mustang out the door. Is it going to be worth paying that much money when the starting price for the Shelby GT500, the new one with 760 horsepower, was just $75,000? Isn't that weird thinking about it? The GT500, Ultimate Edition Mustang, GT500, with almost 8 horsepower, I can run a 10.6 quarter mile, the fastest Mustang on the racetrack. 
starts at 75 grand, that's very, very close. I'm not trying to you know, bad talk it because you know we're gonna be ordering it. Ford needs to be able to blow us away. And I'm crossing my fingers they're able to. I'll keep you updated on what it's like to order the vehicle. I'm expecting availability probably end of next year, which timing wise, if Z06 comes in, um, we'll get like the Raptor R sometime next year, maybe or end of this year. We'll have a little bit to uh, plan everything out for the new um, Mustang coming in. This is just a starting point. Are they going to make a Shelby model in the future? A flat plane crank version? One thing for certain, ordering this vehicle, we are going to be getting that color. I love that color. Or if they have a different color, it's new. That's nice and metallic. We could look into that one. However, I want the track focus seats and the manual transmission. We're going to have a Tremec again. I don't know about maxing it out because that's a lot of money for what they offer. Um, that's my only concern. My only dilemma is it's getting pricey. I, I thought this was going to be 45 grand, maybe 50, maybe 50. Yeah, f actually 50 sounds pretty good. This is more than I think or right around where the Mach 1 was. Is this a Mach 1? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Is this new Mustang price too high? Uh, the Mustang GT starts right on forty thousand dollars. That's fair. That's, they haven't raised the price on that too much. Are you getting twenty thousand dollars or ten plus thousand dollars in upgrades over a standard Mustang GT? Please let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section down below. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, tell me out, and subscribe for much more great content coming out your way. Stay tuned for full coverage of us going to the dealership to learn more about uh, ordering the vehicle. I cannot wait. It's going to be happening very soon. Uh, and again, the Raptor R, the trailering vehicle. It's going to be perfect for the lineup. And going back to the racetrack and a Mustang out a manual, working our way up and maybe even modding this one since it's not as big of a deal to mod. I didn't want to mod the 350R because it was a very special vehicle with the engine being naturally aspirated. The 500 had all the power you needed. Maybe with this vehicle, you can probably um, find a way to lower the weight and then make it even faster for the racetrack. I'll see all of you in the next episode.